Author Philip K. Dick once said, the basic tool for the manipulation of reality is the manipulation of words. His statement underlines how language shapes our worldview. If certain people can control language, they can impact how people perceive and interact with the world. Consider the influence of the American food industry on the term milk. Through financial lobbying, the industry has pressured the FDA to define milk exclusively as a dairy product. This enforced monopoly on the term milk serves their economic interests. Pressure like this also shapes public perception, narrowing the understanding of milk to exclude plant-based alternatives. The influence of language here extends beyond politics. It demonstrates how terminology can shape everyday understanding. The evolution of sexual identity terms is another example. In the late 19th century and into the mid-20th century, terms like heterosexual, bisexual, and homosexual began to redefine identity. This linguistic shift changed how we view gender. Men, traditionally a unified group, were segmented through these newly manufactured terms into subdivisions. This reclassification impacted societal views on men's utility or relevance to women. Moreover, it introduced a form of social control. Associating men with marginalized groups or just threatening to became a tool of social manipulation of men. The introduction of these labels wasn't just linguistic, it was social engineering. This trend has intensified in modern times with the continual creation of new identity terms, like the current pronoun drive. Men must understand that enforced terminology is a form of social engineering. It benefits those who create and enforce these terms at the expense of those who adopt them. This isn't just about language, it's about the power dynamics embedded within it. Acknowledging the role of enforced terminology is crucial. It's a subtle yet powerful form of social engineering that serves the interests of its creators and enforcers. Recognizing this can help us understand the deeper implications of the words we use and the terms we adopt. The powers of words extend into every facet of our lives, influencing our thoughts, emotions, and actions. Language not only reflects our reality but also constructs it. The way we talk about people, events, and ideas can reinforce certain perspectives while censoring or warping others. This is evident in any discussion surrounding political and social issues. The terminology used can significantly sway public opinion and policy. Words can be used to stigmatize or dehumanize, or alternatively to empower. In the realm of social and cultural norms, the manipulation of language can be particularly insidious. It can normalize certain behaviors and beliefs while demonizing others. By controlling the narrative through language, those in power can maintain their dominance. In contemporary society, the manipulation of language is often more subtle, but no less impactful. From marketing campaigns to political rhetoric, the choice of words can significantly influence public perception and behavior. It is crucial for men to be critical of the language they encounter. By questioning and analyzing the words and terms used in public, men can resist manipulation and maintain a more independent and critical perspective. Language is not just a tool for communication. It is a powerful instrument of control and influence. Recognizing the manipulative potential of language is the first step for men to live out self-actualized, self-determined lives. Thank <laughs> you.